this series is called The Gap Between Law and Practice. And uh, if you follow English law, you can see it wasn't respected. Ice whale. Heights apka, siemna, siya, siem salquan, siem mustimo, entha quanat, Roseanne Daniels. First of all, um, I just want to say thank you to um, Lawyers' Rights Watch Canada, Amnesty International, Vancouver Public Library, and we as Hulkaminam for us being co-hosts to these events tonight. I want to just um, translate what I said to you. I just said, good day. My name is Quanat the name I was given when I was 14 years old. Um, Roseanne Daniels is my given name. And um, I just thank each and every one of you for, um, for being here tonight. Um, I know um, you're here to um, speak, uh, listen to this issue of, um, the, on colonialism and I just, like to ask each and every one of you to um, listen with um, open hearts and minds and um, just like to um, hopefully get an understanding of um, where our people are at today and why you see us out in the streets and and a lot of it is um, you're going to hear about it tonight and I just want to thank each and every one of you for being here tonight. I raise my hands up to each and every one of you because it becomes more and more important for us to be able to become one voice and one mind because our future generations are at stake and our children are at home. Some of them are starving. Some of them are getting taken away from us. Our people are committing suicide and the list goes on and I um, just want to say thank you because we all need to work together and I thank you for being here this evening and just like to welcome you to the Coast Salish Territory. Haitsapka Siap. My name is Grace Wu and I'm here to introduce Robert Morales. So, um, and I, w I want to thank Roseanne for giving us a bit of the sounds of her language because we've been, you know, uh, we end up being born here and raised and not even knowing we're on somebody else's land. And um, uh, we don't even, you know, we have um, names for places that are mistaken names or mispronounced names. And we're only just beginning to even understand that there is a need to learn the other languages. There's a lot of language of um, knowledge left in that. Uh, Robert Morales, um, as we would describe him, is Coast Salish. Uh, he's a member of the Cowichan tribes, and he's a real pioneer in seeking support for Indigenous rights in international law and in educating the rest of us about uh, Indigenous rights. Um, he went to Brigham Young. University in Provo, Utah, and then he took his LLB at the University of Victoria. And he also took a negotiation course with Roger Fisher at Harvard University. Um, he's very famous for some of his works on negotiations. Uh, Robert Morales started private practice in 18, uh, 19, 1987. <laughs> Notes aren't very good. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm a historian, I'm more back in the 1800s. Um, and he did a lot of the kind of uh, family uh, law, criminal law, child protection and Abor Aboriginal rights law that comes up in uh, Aboriginal communities. Um, he's got extensive experience in many courts and in negotiations. And he is particularly experienced in negotiations about land claims He's uh, 
he became the chief negotiator for the Halkamenum Treaty Group. Um, if you were listening to this series last year, you would have heard his presentation on the very unusual situation that he's had to deal with because most of his people's land has been sold, uh, was sold at one point to uh, Dunsmuir and the Esquimalt and Nanaimo Railway, so it makes their land claims particularly difficult to uh, fulfill. I, I don't even like to say land claims because it, it, let's say more correctly that it's particularly difficult for them to have their right to their land recognized because it's not considered to be crown land, it's considered to be private land now. Though if you follow, this, is, this series is called The Gap Between Law and Practice and if you follow that, um, uh, if you follow English law, you can see it wasn't respected for the Holcomenum people. Um, because of these difficulties, Robert Morales has taken the Halkamenum Treaty Group's uh, problems with Canada and the province of British Columbia to the Inter-American Commission on Human Rights. And so he's a pioneer in that regard too. Uh, he's done a lot of work in the past. There will be a lot more to come. Um, I have to admit that when he said he was going to talk about the doctrine of discovery, I thought, oh my God, that old thing again, you know, no one pays attention to that. But the problem is, I think as Robert's going to tell us, is that courts very recently, within the past year, have relied on the doctrine of discovery. And some of the ideas in the doctrine of discovery are wound into our assumptions and thinking much more than we realize. So I'm sure that what Robert has to tell us will be very worth knowing for all of us if we want to sort of rethink the relationship between our colonial society and the original nations that have so much to offer. Thank you, and I hope you, thank you to Robert, and I hope you enjoy his speech.